bought a new used vehicle. It's a 2010 Ford Transit Connect cargo van. Very happy to have this. I think it's going to serve us really well. Uh, we have some work to do to this over the next couple days. Rocker panels need to be replaced, some other body work, and a little bit of mechanical stuff. But we're going to try to fix up our ride here and uh, show our progress as we go, and we'll do a full review of the vehicle. Now we've gone over the body, and there was no rust anywhere other than seemingly down here. And it is rusted out pretty bad all along the rocker panels here on both sides. So we're going to start with that project here today. We have pretty harsh winters and they oftentimes put salt on the road in order to prevent ice. And so this is the result. Pretty hard to own a nice vehicle in Eastern Canada when everything wants to rust apart. Rust has been removed off the bottoms here. And then we've got a new rocker panel tacked on with these uh, self-tapping screws along here. Next we're going to come in underneath and we're going to put in some uh, expanding foam insulation and try to fill up the cavity that's up in here with that. After that we're going to uh, use some tiger hair, long strand tiger hair on the inside to just bond everything together and seal it all. Then we're going to come out here and uh, grind these heads off of these screws and then we're going to take uh, some paint and some rocker guard over all of this to seal all of this in. Inside rocker with the styrofoam in place, the board here to hold it up. Yeah, okay, fiberglass is done on one rocker panel. There's the stuff we're using today. And I've cleaned my surface off with some mineral spirits after grinding it down all the rust. Now we're going to try this stuff out. show why I bought a Ford Transit Connect for doing our forestry work. Here's our latest log hauling trailer. This is for hauling single large logs. We're going to do a, a video on this upcoming on the channel. Whole unit fits right into the back of this van. So this van has an opening in the back here of just over 48 inches height wise as well as width wise so you can fit things like plywood into the back of this. I can fit my trailer in it, I can fit my three wheeler in it, uh, all kinds of things that I'd like to be able to haul around. This gives you a better look at the cargo space in here. Now the box is only six feet long which is going to make it a little bit harder for carrying uh, two by fours and plywood and things. And what I'm gonna do is weld on a hook on either side of the door here that I can then tie something across and that way I can leave these doors open. Already they have a safety clasp right here on the side and uh, that way your doors can't swing out. If you remove the clasp, you can get your doors to open up fully. But that keeps them on a highway if you were driving down from flapping around out into the other lane and uh, when I make my bridge across here with a cord, I should be good to throw plywood or anything in here. 
It also comes with great little cargo hooks up here and down here on the floor. So you can strap a motorcycle or whatever you want in the back of this thing. Your jack stores inside of here. The last owner had some plywood and carpet down just to make it a little bit easier to come and go out of the van. But I'll have to replace that carpet with something a little bit better. And you can see you have room overhead for storage. The 2010 to 2013 model of the Ford Transit Connect apparently had higher ceilings, which are really great for, um, you know, coming and going out of the van. I can get in here relatively easy. I still have to duck some. Coming around to the side, really great for coming and accessing your tools. Looking in here, super high-tech dash, an amazing stereo system. I think we're going to have to do a little upgrading on that. I've got a seat cover over here because the seats were in pretty rough shape. I'm going to do the same for Leo's seat over on this side. I think my little guy's going to love this, being able to ride up front with his dad. You need your key to get in here. She's got a whopping 2-liter, 4-cylinder, 136-horsepower engine. Uh, once you get it up to highway speed, it does seem to do okay. Yeah, so here you can see it be easy to get in and out of this van. There's lots of room in here. Under $5,000 commercial van on the road. This thing's going to serve me really well. Just an awesome all-around vehicle for the future of our forestry and farming work over here. Uh, can't say enough good things about this. We've made some major upgrades here just in the last month. And fixing the van has taken me away from the channel a little bit. But uh, we now have this here. We have uh, a new log hauling trailer to pull our large softwood trees out of the woods. And a few other things that I've accumulated that are going to really boost our operation over here so i look forward to doing some more videos here in the future on the channel thank you for watching like and subscribe cheers everybody ready bud let's get in good boy a terribly annoying seatbelt chime on this pretty quiet van you hear a little bit of vibration I've got a little bit of money left in my budget so I'm gonna try to soup this thing up with a good stereo system speakers uh, some colored lights on the interior and some better looking upholstery and uh, surprise my little guy with this so we'll do a follow-up video once we put a bit of money into this thing gotten rid of that goddamn seatbelt John and, and made this thing look good